Hey guys, this is Super Review Show for another episode of Rock Talk. This is, an, this is a show where I talk about albums that have anniversaries, or the album is just that good, you should definitely check out this rock album, whatever. And today, not specifically today, but a couple days ago, and I missed the opportunity to do it on the day of, but 50 years ago this year, in this month of June, 2022, in 1972, this album was released onto shelves and is widely regarded as one of Bowie's best works. And also was considered to be one of, one of the greatest albums of all time, too. We're talking today about David Bowie's Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders of Mars. This album has turned 50 as of, I think it was three or four days ago. I forgot because full disclosure, last week was really busy with other things in my life. My work life finished up. This is a busy time for me. Long, there we go. This album is incredible. His experimental sounds, some of his best songs ever came out. Is This is an original pressing. The corner is a little jipped, but I don't really care. It's the original pressing. It's fine with me. Um, side one, five years, soul love, moon age, daydream. Oh, yeah. Starman. There's a Starman waiting in the sky. It ain't easy. Side two, Lady Stardust, star, hang on to yourself, Ziggy Stardust, which is a great song, by the way, Suffragette City, and Rock and Roll Suicide. David Bowie. Basically, a Rangers thing with Mick with Mick Ronson. Here's the back of the album too. This album is incredible from start to finish, and I don't know why. I just thought of Kanye West when I thought I said that because this K West, but whatever. That's obviously not true at all. But um, David Bowie. I did. I know I did a video about why you should listen to David Bowie, <coughs> and this is one of the albums I wanted to mention to you guys in that video. And I, th I believe I did, if I'm not mistaken. This album is an incredible record. If you have not heard Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders of Mars, get on it. Stream it on Spotify. If you have a CD of it, if you have an LP of it, well, whatever you can do to listen to this album from start to finish, it's that good of a record. One of the It's widely going to the top like 30 or 40 albums of all time by any magazine. Um, <coughs> I'm still sick. But this album, though, you know, it really was a pioneering change for Bowie at the time because he was, he was, this is one of his transitional albums between um, Space Oddity and Let's Dance. Let's Dance was like, what, 80, 82, whatever, you know what I mean? This album was in the early 70s, and this is right before Changes. This is before Heroes. So this, he was going through a lot of different transitional phases throughout his career, and this album was a definite, solidi solidified a lot of it, too. And it actually says in the back here, to be played at maximum volume. That's hysterical. Bowie on the back here. What a guy. An incredible pioneer of rock and roll music. He took it into all different territories. I'm just looking at the band. He really, like, just did an incredible job with this record. It's it's one of the best albums he's ever done, in my opinion. As far as the whole album goes. He's had plenty of other hits, plenty of other great songs, like Modern Love, Changes, Space Oddity, you know, the dude has been around the block and he's done an incredible job with so many other albums. But this one, I think, is his most signature album, if I want to say, with like songs like some of the hits on it with Starman, Moon Age Daydreams, Ziggy Stardust, uh, Suffragicity. You know, those are really big songs off this record. And I think, truthfully, that this was a big stepping stone for people. To go back and listen to David Bowie, who because you know, David Bowie, you forget how David Bowie was just an incredible pioneer. He he basically took what the Beatles were doing and it developed it into the seventies and eighties. He, I've said this before, the best explanation I've ever heard about David Bowie's music career, including this album, is that it has to do with how every album was a different corner of a different floor of a different house that he built over his a musical house that he built over his career. That's the best exclamation I've ever heard of him. And he died in 2016. It was very sad when he passed. He was, he is still, his music will still live on for generations to come. Um, but the dude was a pioneer and this album was definitely solidified that, um, overall the album is a strong album. It definitely holds up to 50 years on. Um, I love it. Truthfully, I've played it on my turntable and it sounds great. I love it. It really is just an overall solid record. I mean, I love it a lot. So, uh, But what do you guys think? Are you a David Bowie fan out there on the internet? 
Jump down in the comment section below. Share your thoughts on this record. Uh, hit the hit the bell, like whatever you gotta do. But for all of your rock talk episodes, keep it locked on the Super Show. The J Man is off to rock. We'll see you guys later.